Hello Hard Video Order Stuff, welcome back my friends. For you today I'm going to be giving you my hot tips on getting the most out of a teleprompter, my reasons why you should get one and also my reasons why maybe you shouldn't get one. It's going to be fun. <laughs> So why use a teleprompter? Well first and foremost, speed and efficiency. And you know I'm all up for saving time because time is money. But when I'm shooting videos with a teleprompter I get through them in roughly half to a third of the time. Which I just love because it means I can shoot more content to get uploaded for you guys. You'll inevitably be shooting longer clips because you're not having to remember huge chunks of the content you want to include in your videos. And that means less jump cuts. And if you're interested, I did a video all about how you can avoid jump cuts and make your videos more slick, which I will link below for you. No doubt your videos will sound more professional as you'll have way less ums and errs in your delivery. The odd um and err in a video is fine, but sometimes when they're too frequent, you start to notice them and it can get a little annoying. But lots of ums and errs definitely sounds less professional, so a teleprompter could be the answer to giving your better videos better flow. There can be a huge amount to remember when filming, so a teleprompter can be really helpful if you're talking about a subject with lots of facts and figures. For example, say I'm listing the specs of a camera, there's generally a lot of things to remember, and by the time I get to the seventh or eighth figure, I'm thinking, what? What have I forgotten? But why shouldn't you get a teleprompter? The biggest thing that may put people off is that using teleprompters can make things sound a little unnatural and robotic. There are ways around this, and of course practice doesn't go amiss. And don't forget my tips are coming up, uh, don't worry, I will see you right. Obviously using a teleprompter means you need a script, and that can take a lot of time to write, which sort of negates my very first reason of why you should get the teleprompter, the speed and efficiency of your workflow. Maybe you prefer more of an ad-lib style, but for me it works well because I write content for these videos on the go, wherever I am on my phone or tablet, so that I can plan ahead for filming. It's not the quickest bit of kit to set up. To be honest, it can be a bit of a fuss when setting up the correct scroll speed and text size on screen. Maybe you prefer being a bit more spontaneous like some of the vlogger style YouTubers, so it might not be suitable for that kind of style. Teleprompters can be bulky and therefore not great for travelling with. It's just another piece of gear you have to lug around with you. Even the Parrot teleprompter I got, which Parrot say is the smallest in the world, is nice and light but it still takes up a chunk of space in your camera bag. Holy crap, teleprompters are expensive. The Parrot one that I bought is inexpensive for a teleprompter. It's under £100 dollars, euros, but it's still very expensive for what is just simply a bit of plastic with an angled pane of glass in it. Once you get into the bigger teleprompter setups, for some reason the price rockets between 4 and 20 times more. But if you can see past the reasons not to grab one, I would highly recommend trying one. And if you do, here are my tips to showing your teleprompter who's boss. To solve the issue of teleprompters making you sound unnatural, I write my content exactly in the way that I would actually say it, using the same prose, same vocabulary, I mean, it would be so obvious if I started using words that I wouldn't normally use, and for that I'm minus peptic, phrasmotic, even compunctious to have caused you such pericombobulations. Thumbs up if you got the reference. I always make sure I leave pauses in my scripts, either by leaving a gap between sentences or just adding dots. More than anything else, just to remind myself to take a breath and slow things down. I also add prompts for myself, things like speech marks or typing words all in caps to prompt me to say things in a certain way. When you first get your teleprompter you'll really want to spend some time nailing the correct size and speed of your text. Too slow and it'll be really noticeable to your viewers, too fast and you'll find yourself out of breath. And that's it for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, as always I've loved making this video for you. And if you're still in the mood for more dope videos about video, I've made loads of them. I'll pop a couple of interesting ones over here for you, and if you're not subscribed, definitely do it. Hit this blob thing right here. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. And I shall return to your screens interfrastically.